All right, so here's the little zero turn. The Toro Time Cutter SS 4235. Great mower. Got the Kawasaki engine on it. I just brought it back from the farm because I got to do some work on it. It's full of mud and dirt and all. It's got to get done. I'm going to power wash it off and clean it off, but there's a couple things that I want to do with it before the start of next year. When I start it, I'll start the mower up. Starts fine. As soon as I pull in the handles, the engine shuts off. The engine won't shut off if I come off the seat or if I use my PTO. So it's not the PTO safety switch. It's not the seat switch. It has something to do with either one of these arms. And it happens with this arm or this arm. So I think the two wires from these two switches connect together before it goes into the module. So I'm going to, I have to figure out a way to bypass these switches before I get new ones, but I'll show you. So it's the handles. It's one of the switches on either side of those handles. So I'm going to I'm going to take a look at it and see what I can do with these. Okay, so you saw me start the mower up. When I started the mower, sitting on the seat, handles out, I can pull up my PTO and the blade runs perfectly. While the blade's running, if I come off the seat, it shuts the mower off. That's what it's supposed to do. So the seat safety switch works. It lets me start the engine when I'm sitting on it, and it shuts it off automatically if I get off the seat with the PTO engaged. So that's it's not that switch. The other switches here are in the handles. And you can see right here, if I move this handle forward... You can see the little safety switch down in there. I'm going to point to it with my screwdriver here. Right there. There's your safety switch right here. I'm touching it. And what it does is it gets pushed down. It gets pushed down. And it looks like it's only held on by this thing right here. It's like it's pushed into the side. So I'm going to try, just try to push this switch out. If that's how you do it i don't know how if this is the right way to get these off but i don't want to have to take the whole mower apart to try to get these out so i'll just try to yeah see it comes it's almost like it could just push through this right here there it's out i'm going to try to pull that the rest of the way out so i pulled the safety switch out here it is. It was just underneath there, and I just pulled it out. And here it all, this is all it is. It's this little tiny thing right here that's just get, it just gets snapped onto the end of the wire. And your handles push down on this button. Now I'm gonna get uh, duct tape and just tape around the safety switch, but first I gotta, I gotta get this one out from underneath there. So after I get them both out, I'm going to tape them both closed. But the problem that I'm going to have is if I tape both buttons closed because it's an electronic brake, you're telling the engine or you're telling the mower that your handles are in the out position, that it's in park. So what the electronics are going to do is come back here, back here to the back of the mower, and it's going to engage the brake right here like it is right now. This cog is locked into this safety bracket here with the notches. So I'm going to have to disengage that right there. I'm going to have to pull this cog forward to keep it away from the wheel like that. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to take this off so it doesn't think that it should be in the locked position in in the parking brake position now just for my experiment here 
I didn't want to have to take this whole gas tank off and the whole fender. That side was easier because I could get to it because there's no, there's no gas tank. But this side's got the gas tank and from underneath you can't get to that safety switch. But right here, you can see it and I'm kind of just prying it, prying it back. It's hard to hold, but, but I already got it. I already got it out. There it is. It's loose already. So kind of just the safety switches just kind of like pop into the sides. There's a hole cut out right there and they just pop in. I pulled it out. So here we go. There you go. It's kind of dirty, but you can see how I pried on it. But that there's a cutout on the side of the mower and these just pop into it, just snap into it. So if you if you can do it, I guess you could replace these. And I looked these up online. They're only around ten dollars for a new safety switch. But I I want to try taping it in to see if that's actually what the problem is. So let's get some tape. See, that's all it is. This is the piece right here. Hopefully it's just these things that are bad, but they just get plugged in. But let's try to, let's, let's try to keep that button pushed down. Okay, so there's the two buttons. They still got like a little bit of play in it, but I think it's I think it's far enough down to hold them pushed in. So let's see if this works. All right. So the mower thinks that my handles are always in the out position, so it should start. Okay, so that worked, but when I tried to go, the brakes are actually still on. So I was trying to move the transmission with that brake still on. So I have to disconnect that brake. Right here is where it's grabbing this. So it stayed in the brake, in the, in the lock position. Now, instead of messing with all this right here, if you follow this bar all the way up, See if I can get to it. Way up here, the, th the brake bar is connected to the electronics right here with this little pin. If I take this pin out, this bar will drop off and then the electronics won't move this bar back and forth to lock it in the park position. So let's pull this pin out. There you go. So this bar just dropped free right here. Okay, so I disconnected the bars. Like here's one of the bars right here from the brakes with just that simple cotter pin. And I replaced the cotter pin in the washer right back on it. You can see right there. So I don't lose them. So as soon as I took the bar off, Put your washer and your cotter pin back on. But now you can see your two brakes are just 
the two brakes are just hanging there. So now what I'm going to do is loosen this bolt right here and I already got it started with a 716. See how that goes right through this whole assembly. So now I can take this whole assembly off and leave this cog here. And I think I might put this bolt. Yeah, I'm gonna put the bolts right back in the holes so it doesn't get full of dirt. And so I don't lose them. And now the electronics up front can't move this bar back and forth to engage the brake. So, I'll do this side. I'll do this side next right here. So there's our two little brake assemblies off. Our two little safety switches for the handles are taped closed. Let's pump some air in this tire and uh, let's go down here and try to chop up some of these leaves around here. I've seen a lot of guys online messing with their electronics and underneath here is your safety module. They take that safety module out and they use jumpers to bypass all your safety switches, your fuel, your ignition, your starter by putting little jumpers in there. I, I'm pretty sure it's probably easier to just fix your switch just in the PTO switch right here. Your seat switch, which is real easy. There's your seat switch. If you have a problem starting or um, when you're not, when you don't even, when you have weight on it and it's still not working, replace that switch and then our two handles. So it might be easier to just, like I said, replace these switches. Let me just wrap these up so that they don't get caught in the deck. You can see that there's no brakes anymore. So that thing just free spins. We disconnected the brakes, so be careful of that. Okay, so there it is. A quick uh, tip, if you pull your handles in on your mower and it shuts off, it's the little safety switches in either arm. You don't have to bypass all your electronics and all your wires and use jumpers and none of that. Just, just pop those safety switches out, tape them closed, and take your brakes off. And you can use your mower until you get your new switches in. And then, and then just put your brakes back on little tip